welcome everyone. If, if we can stand for the presentation of the colors, and if we can hold any applause until they have left the stage, please. Thank you. Welcome everyone to the Senior Award Ceremony. Uh, it's been a couple of years, so it's good to be back. You know, the awards and the recognitions that uh, we're going to give out tonight are just a small sample of the accomplishments of this group of students. I've been lucky enough to have taught most of them that are going to be uh, walking across this stage tonight, and I'm excited to see them receive the recognition that they deserve. Just a bit of housekeeping. Uh, students, when your name is called, you'll enter on your left and exit on your right. Um, presenters, and you'll, like, you'll enter on your right, okay? Um, we will follow the program just to keep things moving along, and um, everyone should have gotten one, and I do have extras if uh, you might need one. All right, uh, Ms. Spat, we'll start things off. Thank you.
He has done all of this while maintaining a very high academic average. He's a member of the National Honor Society. He's a writing center tutor. He earned an EP Scholar of Distinction recognition and has earned over 14 R awards for academic distinction in multiple subject areas at RHS. The winner of the NSDAR Good Citizens Award for the class of 2022 is one of my former students, Calvin Dell. The Busa Mid Chapter Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated has helped send deserving Dodia students to college or post secondary schools since 1979. We are extremely proud of those we have helped and hope that we can assist more students for many years to come. One of our initiatives for Alpha Kappa Alpha is to support historically black colleges and universities. Each year, one of our scholarships is reserved for a student who will be attending an HBCU. On behalf of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, we are pleased to have selected the following students to receive the 2022 Academic Scholarship. Amaya Williams. And Kiera Hanan. I'm Sharon Ford Bell, and this is Deborah Lauer and Jennifer Harris. We are members of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and we're here tonight to present scholarships to two deserving students. Our motto is Sisterhood, Scholarship, and Service, and these three people, these two people did exhibit that. So the winners tonight are Ezra Woodfork and Alexis Pierre Luis.
from what I read, he'll be attending, looks like college right here in Europe, a couple of different selections of places that he was thinking about going to. Uh, Berlin, Germany, and uh, Italy, Spain, Great Britain. So I think he'll be around here for a little bit.
our next recipient is receiving $1,500, and that is Ben Brewster. $2,500 is Alexis Pierre Louise. Good evening, my name is Laura Bernard. I'm with the KMC Scholarship Committee. Um, the, the Ramstein Enlisted Spouses Club, the Ramstein Officer Spouses Club, and the K Kaiserslautern and Longstool Spouses Association worked really hard all year to raise money through our community, through our two local thrift stores and the annual Holiday Bazaar. This year, we were really pleased to be able to award over $114,000 to local area seniors, um, spouses attending college and current university students. Ramstein High School is getting $36,000 of that tonight. So, we have a list. <laughs> so as I call your names and you get your certificates, our historian is here to take a quick photo. And at the end, if you could all wait at the bottom of the stage for a quick group photo, we would really appreciate that. So. Caleb Williams, $500. Hayden Umfeld Martinez, $500. Nolan Lash, $500. Cordelia Harris, $750. Emily Mullinex, $1,000. Annalena Slover, $1,000. Jade Fisher, $1,000. Anthony Mata, $1,250. Eleanor Hickman, $1,250. <laughs> 
Michael Dobbs, $1,250. Alexis Pierre Louise, $1,500. Chase Dellinger, $2,000. Corbin Riddenbaugh, $2,500. Anthony Roy, $2,500. Grace Carey, $3,000. Calvin Delp, $3,000. Maxwell Christensen, $3,500. Adriana Cook, $4,000. And our final award of the evening for $5,000 goes to Braden Dudley. On behalf of all three spouses organizations in this area, we wish you the best of luck in your college careers. Good evening. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Doug Hay, I'm the Air Force Junior ROTC instructor here at Ramstein High School, and I'm excited to announce some recipients of some ROTC scholarships and some academy appointments. Uh, every year, I mean, this is a very competitive environment. These kids are awesome, and, and I'm so proud to see these young men and women pursuing an opportunity to serve their country, following the footsteps, you know, right after Memorial Day and those who've gone before. So, uh, with that, Army ROTC scholarship, Matt Abel. Air Force Officer Training Scholarship. Angelique Atkinson. And, and, also, and the cool thing is, I think I administered a PT test to every one of these kids. And I got to know Angelique. One of the cool things about her that's not being presented tonight is a $40,000 scholarship from Amazon, right? One of 100 recipients, I think, nationwide, worldwide, right? So, congratulations, Angelique.
So I had the privilege of having this individual in my ROTC program, junior ROTC program, and got to administer more than one PT test to her. And she's an outstanding young lady, and soon to be, well, maybe not soon, but Governor of Florida, Ms. Myla Williams. Should have gone slower, small words. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll get beat up in the parking lot. Anyway. <laughs> there might have been a day I could outrun him, but not now. Okay. We also have a number of uh, students every year who can compete for opportunities uh, at our military academies. And I have watched this young lady work her butt off and do everything she can to be uh, qualified to go to the uh, Air Force Academy, and she's made it, but they're going to make her do a little extra training. So, Cadet Adriana Cook is going to, she's got a Falcon Foundation scholarship, and she will be attending Randolph Macon Academy. Congratulations. about this one is I think I finally got to see these young men wear something other than shorts to school. Not to school, but in the building, right? Um, and I'm going to read this because uh, this is the only academy appointment that I know of for tonight. Um, United States Air Force Academy, the superintendent of the United States Air Force Academy takes pleasure in recognizing Luke Manuel Matthews with an offer of appointment to the United States Air Force Academy with the class of 2026. Mr.
So for our first school award, it's the Principal's Award. Um, give you a background. For this award, each staff member is, is capable of nominating up to 20 students. But in order to be recognized, uh, they have to have three nominations. Now, I'm a numbers guy, so I'm going to throw them all out there. There are a little over 800 students in this school, and we received 496 nominations this year. Only 46 students received three or more nominations. And of those 46, 16 are seniors. The seniors, please come forward when I call your name and receive your certificate. And if I mispronounce it, as you know, it's not personal, right guys? So. And I've taught almost all of these. Eliza Asher. Ever Major. Gideon Zhao. Benjamin Wilson. <laughs> Eleanor Hickman. <laughs> Francesca Rosati. Robert McPeak. <laughs> and Miley Williams. <laughs> Annalena Slover. Avery Harris. Ben Brewster. CJ Dell. Grace Carey. <laughs> Maxwell Christensen. <laughs> Roberto Cotto. <laughs> and Samantha Woodward. Let's give one more round of applause for these seniors. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Erin Marcus and I'm the Athletic Director. Tonight we are going to be awarding the Athletic Awards. Every year in the Athletics Department, uh, we give two Athlete of the Year Awards and two Scholar Athlete of the Year Awards. This evening, 
we are going to be giving three out of four of those four awards. Uh, one of our scholar athletes was awarded to a junior this year and that award was given earlier this afternoon. So these awards are, um, are for our student athletes that have achieved in their athletic sports, um, usually two or three season athletes. They also excel in the classroom and they are just all around good character athletes. And the coaches get together and they decide who's going to uh, receive these awards at the end of the year. So um, I'm going to invite up our first speaker tonight and um, that is going to be Tommy Manning. Hi, I'm Coach Manning. It is my honor to present this year's Male Academic Athlete of the Year Award. This award is presented to a Ramstein High School student athlete that has demonstrated overall excellence during his or her time as Royal. This year's recipient Curly currently maintains a 4.57 GPA and has been a four-year varsity letter recipient in cross country and soccer. When I was first introduced to this young man as an incoming freshman in his dad's classroom, I asked him if he wanted a summer training program to get in shape for the fall. He replied, no way. His dad frustratingly demanded that he follow me to my classroom so he could get a summer training program. A classic freshman, perhaps. Ironically, this res resistant young incoming freshman would soon become the biggest advocate for training over the summer. I had the opportunity to coach this young man for four years. He represented Ramstein at the European Cross Country Championships all four years, finishing ninth as an individual last fall. He was a member of the 2018 Championship Cross Country team and was voted team captain his junior and senior years. On the soccer pitch, he helped lead his team to a 2022 European team title and was all tournament selection. He was similarly voted team captain by his soccer teammates his junior and senior years. Next year, he will continue to play soccer and maybe cross country at Evangel University in Muggy Springfield, Missouri. The 2021-2022 Ramstein Academic Athlete of the Year is Ben Brewster. Come on up, Ben. This, the, the distinct honor of standing here this evening to award the 2022 Ramstein Female Athlete of the Year Award. The winner of this award will move forward to the district level to compete against other school level athletes from around Europe for the European Female Athlete of the Year. I can tell you that this selection took Ramstein coaches about two minutes to decide. That is how outstanding this athlete is. It is rare to find a dual sport athlete in high school these days. It is a diamond in the rough to find a three sport athlete. Let me be clear about this. Since a week before the start of the school year, this athlete has spent all but two weeks of the school year not participating in an after school varsity sport. I know this because I have had the distinct pleasure of being there right beside her. During the fall, after dominating play as a middle blocker and hitter, she was awarded the Heart of the Lion Award for the volleyball team. A distinction that says she exemplifies the spirit and the pride of being a Ramstein Royal. And this young woman has these traits in spades. During her basketball season, she was a force to be reckoned with at the post. She knows how to throw an elbow, put it back, and find her outlet. She was team captain, earned the top rebounder award at the end of the season and was named to the Division I 
all-European basketball tournament team. Not to sit back on her laurels, she, want, she went on to bat 600 for the softball team. She led the team in RBIs, hits, and runs. She had the most innings pitched and the lowest ERA of all of our pitchers. She also had no fielding errors at first base and all while serving as team captain. It was no surprise when she was named to the Dodia Division I All-Tournament Softball Team and was named our team MVP. These accomplishments and accolades show the kind of athlete she is. Her 3.81 GPA confirms that she's also an exemplary student. And yet these are not the first things I think about when I think of her. Hardworking, unfailingly kind, generous, gracious, determined, a leader, and a role model. These are the qualities that make her great on the court and field, but make her extraordinary off the court. And I'm also convinced she's never taken a bad picture. It is my extreme honor, as one of her many coaches, to name the 2022 Ramstein Female Athlete of the Year to senior Spice Harris. Ramstein High School Athlete of the Year for the Males for 2022. He played football and baseball while maintaining a 4.57 GPA. He was an outstanding leadership skills for both teams. He was the football and baseball captain. He led the team in passing offense for football. He was the defensive player of the year for baseball. He was the recipient of the heart of the line for football. And he was the team MVP for baseball, as well as the Dia Dia Europe Baseball Tournament Most Valuable Player. Coach Rios attests to this young man's devotion, hard work, and leadership, describing him as a true leader on the field, someone who always wanted to be better for the team. This recipient always worked hard, side by side with his teammates, and positively pushed everyone to work harder. One of his best leadership attributes was his ability to know when to step back and let the team take the initiative, allowing the team to grow and develop for the future. His commitment to achieving goals motivated his teammates, which resulted in winning a European championship. His leadership and influence in the sporting arena will be remembered for many seasons to come. Ramstein High School Athlete of the Year for 2022, CJ Dell. Our next school award is the R Award. Each teacher nominates the top 10% of their students to excel in the classroom, but only the top 10%. Um, again, I'm a numbers guy, so I'll throw them out there again. There were 291 students throughout the school nominated for an R Award. But in order to be recognized at this ceremony or the assembly we had today, they had to have three nominations or more. 11 seniors fall into that category. We have six seniors who received an R Award in three classes. Angeli Ampera.
Eleanor Hickman. Eliza Asher. Next award is for those seniors that have received our awards in four classes. You notice the list gets smaller as we go. First, Amaya Williams. Good evening, Ramstein family and friends. My name is Mrs. Udoka, and our final award presentation for this evening will be the Royal Pride Award. The Royal Pride Award allows the Ramstein High School faculty to recognize a select group of exceptional seniors for their continual contributions for the betterment of our school community. Some recipients are leaders in student government and other school organizations. Others are athletes who serve in leadership and mentoring roles on their teams. And some are outstanding students who show a real willingness to pursue scholastic excellence. The main criterion for this award is that these students have contributed to make Ramstein High School a better place overall. To nominate a senior for this award, the Ramstein High School faculty and staff must ask themselves, if someone asks our school to send a group of seniors to a conference to represent the very best elements of our graduating class, who would we choose? This prestigious award is competitive as it represents the best of the best of a graduating class. This year, we have seven seniors that will be honored with the 2022 Royal Pride Award. Each award will be presented by a member of the Ramstein faculty. Congrats to all of this year's recipients, and we will begin with the presentations with 
Mr. Wright, and Mr. Warren. Good evening. Uh, I'm Coach Warren, and uh, this is Coach Wright. Um, anyway, we uh, get the honor of presenting the first Royal Pride Award tonight. Um, this individual uh, we've gotten to see grow up over the last four years. Um, she is exactly what this award is talking about. She, she works hard in school. She works hard uh, in the uh, athletics that she's helped us with. Um, and she is definitely a go-getter. Now, uh, four years ago, when she first started to help us, uh, and she was kind of quiet, kind of was reserved, you know, and probably you could still say that about her. But we have uh, seen her grow so much, but she is a natural leader, and she's going to do great things. Um, you know, like I said, we, you could say that she would be under the radar, but not to the people who know her. The people who know her know how hardworking she is. Uh, they know how much dedication that she has. And multiple times we were just able to say, hey, we need this done, and we didn't have to worry about it. It got done. And I think every coach, uh, every teacher, everybody that she has been around would be able to say that same thing. If you give her a task, she's going to get it done, and it's going to be done correct, right, and you don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm going to let Coach Ryan talk for a minute. I continue off with what Coach, what Coach Horn was saying. Um, this student is also an ambassador of Ramsland High School. Um, she served as a member of S2S over all four years that she's been here. Um, she's also a member of the National Honor Society and has recently organized a color run that raised over $2,000 that will be donated to the Red Cross in support of the Ukrainian refugees. All of her teachers and coaches have agreed this student has significantly contributed to making Ramstein High School a better place and she represents the best elements of her graduating class. She truly is the best of the best and a true royal, Eliza Ashton. I'm happy to recognize our, rep, our next Royal Pride recipient. The positive impact she had on me from day one when I arrived in uh, 2019, and it, it stuck with me. Uh, she's excelled in leadership positions at every level flight sergeant, flight commander, director of operations, squadron commander, and I'm pretty sure after this she's going to run me out about four or five other things that she ran that I forgot. Um, <laughs> She holds many titles on this campus, Supreme Commander, or Royal Highness, General. Uh, these are all positive titles that imply a sense of command and confidence that belies her stature. This recipient brings a calm sense of confidence and respect to everyone she's associated with, be it as a manager, a leader in Air Force Junior ROTC, or a career practicum representative for Ramstein High School. She will be missed. She carries a world of responsibility on her tiny shoulders, she is poised, confident, competent. She speaks with a soft voice, yet hers is a voice that makes everyone want to listen. Uh, I know some instructors will miss her Olympia. I'm concerned that she has not adequately trained her replacements in that regard. Um, uh, I also want to recognize her recruiting efforts as a sophomore. It brought straight to state growth for our programs as I've arrived. I've watched uh, the impact these kids have. And when I got here, we had 100 cadets when she was a ninth grader, uh, and she, she chaired that. The last year we had 124, this year we've had 124, next year 140. And was, I think part of it is because when she goes and recruits, she recruits kids that are kind of the same size. Um, <laughs> this young lady emulates the Air Force core values of integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. 
I can say with confidence that this young lady will carry the spirit of the line with her. And it is my honor to introduce Maria Francesca Versace. As <laughs> The Royal Pride Award is earned by a person who has strongly represented Ramstein High School in facets such as academics, character, and leadership. The recipient of this award has demonstrated all three traits that make us all very proud. He has a quest to become the very best version of himself, so he seizes every opportunity to learn, grow, and thrive on the field and in the classroom. This person has committed himself to high academic standards, maintaining a 4.57 GPA. While engaging in extracurricular sports and activities that support the school. You may hear him described as dedicated, committed to excellence, trustworthy, and dependable. But one of his most notable attributes is his integrity. This young man is one who we can all rely on to get the job done. Mr. Manny noted this young man's academic maturity exceeds that of his peers. Ms. Kretz shared this young man has a quiet confidence that leads by example one of the most empathetic students with whom she's worked. A previous coach at Ramstein High School, Coach Jason Sheridan, had the privilege of coaching this young man from middle school through high school and shared this reflection about this person. He said, Coach Hongbei came up to me on the sideline and asked, how can I be so calm during the games? I never told him this, but it was because having you at the quarterback was like having another coach actually playing in the game. Any adjustments that needed to be made, you saw and handled immediately on the fly. I have no doubt that you'll be successful in whatever path you choose with that same attitude, effort, and awareness. This Royal Pride Award goes to C.J. Dell. I could not think of anyone more fitting for this Royal Pride Award than this young woman. I remember the first day of school this fall. I had all my seniors fill out a questionnaire just to learn a little bit about them. One of the questions asked, what other schools have you attended other than the Ramstein? This young woman wrote, none, always royal. Smiley face emoji. A perfect response for someone with uncompromising royal pride. I can say definitively, definitively that no one knows more about the happenings of Ramstein High School than this young woman. No other senior, no other teacher, no administrator, no one in Dodia headquarters in Alexandria, Alexandria, Virginia. Her involvement at Ramstein is impressive. Track, cross country, model United Nations, German club, student to student, National Honor Society and class president. While there are a number of RHS students that are involved in the school, I'm not sure if anyone can match the bubbly energy this young woman puts into her school pursuits. About two months ago, I was trying to figure out a date for this AP study session I wanted to host after school, which was a total nightmare. Trying to find an open date for seniors in the spring is virtually impossible. 
I gave up on my brain power, I gave up on searching emails for conflicting dates, and I emailed this young woman. She was at Model UN in Prague, but she got right back to me. I asked, hey, what day works for the seniors for a study session? And she gave me a date and a time. If there was ever a conflict with the senior class, I figured she would be the first to know about it. Um, you know, throughout the coronavirus in the last two years, um, this young woman has always been a vigorous advocate for the class of 2022 at Ramson High School. She enthusiastically defends the interests of her peers at the school. I am proud to present this Royal Pride Award to Eleanor Hickman. Good evening. My name is Kat Bond, and I'm here to present a Royal Pride Award to one of our well-deserving seniors. Um, as most of you know, a student can't earn this award without truly being the epitome of a Ramstein Royal. I could sing this student's accolades and tell you all about the ways that this student has left an imprint on Ramstein throughout their different activities. But instead, I want to tell you about the first time I met this student. I met this student last year, it was their junior year, um, and they were just starting off in my AP US history class. I also taught this student's sister. So at the beginning of the year, the student's sister had asked me if she could switch into my seminar class, and I said, that's not a problem. So the next day, seminar comes, and I take attendance, and we sit down, and we get to work, and the seminar ends. And the next day, seminar starts again, and the student comes up to me and says, can I go see uh, one of my other teachers? And I said, yeah, sure. Why are you in my class? Why aren't you in your seminar that you're supposed to be in? And she says, well, I am in my seminar. And I was like, no, no, you're not. I have your sister. She said, no, you don't. You have me. They screwed up our schedule. And I realized that I had thought she was her sister for two days. <laughs> I was horrified. Um, thankfully, she started laughing and told me that this happens all the time, but from that day forward, I knew that this student was not only going to be a bright young lady, but she had a fantastic personality and a laugh that was infectious. It's that personality and that character that allows her to be someone who welcomes everybody into this community, that makes sure students um, feel part of the classroom, always feel part of the group, and she genuinely makes our school a better place. She worked with every single student that I paired her with. Her jokes and her laughter lightens the room. She's a natural leader who people gravitate to and want to be around. This student is such a hard worker that even during our virtual time, she was one of the few who showed up religiously for our AP review sessions. The dedication and care that this student puts into everything that they do will carry over into their life at college and eventually into their future lives. We are blessed as a community to say that she is a graduate is she, that she is graduating as a Ramstein Royal. The world needs more people like her, and it is my distinct pleasure to present this Ramstein Royal Pride Award in absentia to Avery Schaefer. Our next Royal Pride um, presenter is Miss Edget. She's a guidance counselor here, and she is not able to join us tonight, so she made a video that we are going to share with her presenting the Royal Pride Award to our next senior. We have students that we see around school, maybe in the hallway, during passing, maybe in the counseling office, to pick up a schedule or a transcript, and we might rarely ever see them. Then once in a while, we start noticing the ones that always seem to show up. Whenever there's a request for help or an activity, 
the scene needs volunteers, we start to notice who always shows up. This student is one of those students. For the last four years, this student has always been there to help both in and out of school. Not just for the fun things, but for creating reports, cutting out papers, writing out name tags, sorting flowers, baking cookies, making videos, when none of us know how to make videos, which always cause endless hours of laughter. Evenings, weekends, anytime, anywhere. This student is always there and has been consistently for four years. Always with a smile and a great sense of humor. When the Francis Hesselbein Student Leadership Program opened up for applications worldwide during the pandemic, this student applied and was accepted with three other Ramstein Royals. School groups from all over the world participated, but our group took on a huge idea with hours and hours of research and documentation. They could have done far less, like the other groups, but not this student, not this group. All the hours and hard work paid off. They won first place worldwide for their project. Even the first lady recognized their hard work. On top of this, she wanted help the S2S program in the middle school didn't have to do that. Not just a little, but a lot she wanted to help in this group did. Weekly meetings, games, check-ins, many evenings and weekends spent helping middle school while creating the Welcome to Germany website. This was on top of tutoring middle schoolers and Ramstein students numerous other activities and responsibilities. With all of this, she also achieved academic excellence with her studies, graduating this year as one of the top students in the class of 2022. She never asks for recognition. She never shares with others all that she does. She just does it because in her heart, she's driven to do the best and be the best. She always wants to make the world a better place. Camry Schaefer is one of the kind. She has meant so much to Ramstein High School. She has made the school better by all that she has done and all that she has achieved. Congratulations, Camry for receiving this Royal Pride Award. It is well deserved. So Camry is not here tonight, so we will uh, present her award to her Friday at graduation. Good evening, my name is Heidi Kratz. This Royal Pride recipient is a mature, polite, conscientious, confident, and engaging young man. In any situation, this student stands for what makes us proud to be royals. He's equally at ease in academic, social, or athletic settings, and equally at ease conversing with adults and peers. In fact, his teachers have even shared that they appreciate his ability to translate teen vernacular. <laughs> this student is looking forward. He doesn't dwell on what hasn't gone well or what didn't work out the way he intended. Instead, he takes setbacks and feedback with serious consideration and a focus on how he can improve and succeed. He is self-aware and gently self-deprecating yet always striving to improve. He's a natural leader who's had a significant impact on every organization of which he's been a part. As a writing tutor, his calm demeanor and gentle humor help him form relationships with student writers and put them at ease. In the classroom, he collaborates well with all students, inviting and seriously considering alternative points of view. 
In JROTC, he's a strong leader who completes all tasks with excellence, with dedication. He readily accepts responsibility and faces any challenge, large or small, with a positive can-do attitude. Above all, he is simply pleasant to be around. Who doesn't cheer up when he enters the room? Paw Patrol backpack slung over his shoulder. I am honored to get to present this Royal Pride Award to Ben Wilson. Wow, good evening. Uh, I come from that same group as Ms. Fat, the vertically challenged. And um, I wanna say that I sat here reflecting on all of the awards that you seniors uh, just uh, were presented with. And it, as I sat there reflecting, I was thinking, what am I gonna say? How am I gonna say it? I'm not the guy who writes the speech out. Um, but I then began to reflect on your parents and their influence on each of you that uh, provided you the foundation that allowed you to sustain this excellence that your teachers just talked about. And the excellence that was awarded with accomplishments at the end of four tough years, two which were the most horrific for a senior class uh, to endure, uh, COVID, and yet you still have produced, you still have sustained excellence through all of that. And so what I would like to do uh, to uh, moms and dads and families here from me, again, just a new royal, but really proud to be a royal, uh, I wanna thank you. <laughs> for all of the efforts that you put in to get these students to this point. Practice pick up, practice drop off, study sessions that Mr. Manning made your kids go through. Uh, all of those pieces uh, that go along with the high school experience, living overseas, and all of the obstacles that you and your children have gone through to get to this point. Uh, I'm really excited, guys, for graduation to see my first Royals graduation. Uh, I imagine it'll be really hard to top uh, next year with a Royals award ceremony, senior ceremony like this. Uh, so again, congratulations from myself, Mr. Short, uh, Ms. Robertson uh, on an uh, uh, awesome four years and a culminating activity tonight and one more on Friday. Uh, so uh, one round of applause for our seniors, please. And, and I certainly would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to Mr. Floyd, who took the time and the effort to make sure that this ceremony and the ceremony for our underclassmen today uh, went off without a hitch. So if we could give Mr. Floyd a round of applause. And I'm on the clock, because I know Coach Hollenbeck said I only had a, a certain amount of time. So uh, thank you all for coming tonight, and have a great evening. We'll see you on Friday. <laughs>